Hi, welcome to Plastic Mochi. I'm Sarah, and today we're looking at something a little bit different. I'm going to show you our very nerdy vinyl collection. I would not describe myself as a music snob. <laughs> I am in fact not very good when it comes to music. I still listen to the same stuff I listened to when I was a teenager and I can't seem to get out of listening to that stuff. It's almost like my brain filled with so many songs and I was just like, right, that's it. That is enough music for me. I don't need any new bands. So I'm quite stuck in my ways <laughs> with music. So we don't have a huge vinyl collection. We've only been buying vinyl for about a year, year and a half. Now vinyl's quite expensive, so we made a rule where we only buy colourful vinyl discs. So the record itself isn't some wacky colour. We ain't buying it. Unless it's like a must-have, must-have album. Which means it came out probably about 2005. <laughs> I think I'll start with the movie soundtracks. I've got a few categories. Let's start with movie soundtracks. So we've only got a couple of movie ones. So we'll start with Scott Pilgrim. Excellent film and excellent comic series. And beautiful red vinyl. Lovely. So the main part of Scott Pilgrim really is music. Even in the graphic novels, Brian Lee O'Malley wrote music notes and he came up with the tunes and he came up with the songs. And I think they did a really good job of turning it into a film. So yeah, we have to get the record of that. Because we are nerds. Featuring such lovely tracks as I'm so sad, so very, very sad. And we hate you, please die. No. Great record. <laughs> And this one's super nerdy. We've got a lot of our vinyl from Mondo, who also do art prints and vinyl toys, and we have a few of those as well. So they, they're always film and cartoon themed. This is one of the Mondo releases. Home Alone by John Williams. Look how beautiful this record cover is. It's absolutely stunning. I think record artwork is really important to me as well. Like it has to look good. It has to look good and it has to sound good. Even the inner sleeves are great and feature the film scenes. And as it's a Christmas record, we get a nice oh, seasonal red vinyl there. Which is a shame that it didn't get delivered until after Christmas. So I'll have to listen to it this year instead. We'll move on to the video game records. I told you we're nerds. And it should link nicely to Scott Pilgrim, the video game soundtrack. And once again, got a happy jazzy vinyl as it ain't coming into the house. Look at that. Beautiful clear, ooh. Beautiful clear lime green vinyl. Nice. Now this soundtrack is by Anna Managuchi and it's all 8-bit like music to go with the game. So it's not the kind of thing you listen to every day. <laughs> it's quite good to put in the background if you like cleaning or something. But it's just super cute and jazzy and very geeky. Our next video game record is Zelda. It's so pretty. So they got um, the Slovak National Orchestra to perform all the Zelda songs from the Ocarina of Time. And it's so beautiful. And it looks stunning. And this is Hero of Time performed by the Slovak National Symphony Orchestra. So, games can be classy too, guys. This is a lovely classical rendition. And the most important part, gotta get your jazzy vinyl. Look at that. So good. And you've got a little heart there to tell you which side you're on. 
I love it. Should we try and have a listen? So disc one, beautiful green colour. Disc two, oh. Look at that. Gorgeous tie-dye purple record. Yeah, we really like our coloured vinyl. <laughs> Coming up next, some more video game vinyl. Gorgeous gold letter in there. Silver on the back. Can you guess what it is? Gold, silver? That's right, it's Johto Legends music from Pokemon. Silver and gold. Lovely little map of Johto there. This is the silver side. Ooh. Nice split colour vinyl. <laughs> Orchestra covering more classic Nintendo games. I'm a Nintendo nerd, Nintendo is my favourite platform. And this is a really nice record to just chill out to. It's really nice hearing all your favourite like Pokemon Center noises performed by an orchestra. Something quite sad, so I feel more grown up, so it's okay. This is classy, I can listen to this. So yeah, that was our little video game collection. So Matt's got even more nerdy stuff, games I've never even heard of. So yeah, I could have shown you more, but I'll just show you my few favourite pieces. Mm, now shall we do cartoons or actual bands? I'm gonna go for some actual bands. I'll save the cartoons to last, they're the best ones. So this isn't really nerdy, but I just have to share this, sing this artist with you. <laughs> this is my favourite singer in the world, and this is Matt Corby. So with the bands, they're actually just our favourite bands. So they're just on normal black vinyl, a lot of them. But it's because the music's so good, so it's all right, it's worth it. So this is Matt Corby, my favorite singer, and this is his um, like first main EP. And there's only four songs in it. All four songs are amazing. I'm gonna play you a bit, because I want you to leave this video and go listen to some Matt Corby, because he is ridiculous. So his voice ranges from like really angelically like soft to really going for it. I can't even explain it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not very good at music, but I know what this guy can sing and you should go and listen to him. This is one of his more powerful songs from this EP and I hope you like it.
channel. I'm going to link to his YouTube channel so you can go and listen to him because my fave. Shame about the plain vinyl. Next up, a band everybody likes. Everyone likes them. Once again, a band I've listened to since I was a teenager and I probably will never start listening to them. But this time I get a nice picture disc. Not quite as nice as the coloured vinyl, but I'll take it. And it is... Dookie, yes. Green Day's finest. And that's the other side. So yeah, nice picture vinyl there with the original album cover on it. I love this record. You probably love this record. I didn't say much about this record. <laughs> but I think you get what I mean when I say I don't accept new bands. <laughs> and then a bit more Green Day. Bit of Nimrod, another classic album, but they've done me proud. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous yellow vinyl. Beautiful. Yeah. So this one because it fits into my very specific group of bands that I still listen to. And coloured vinyl. Thank you, Green Day. <laughs> Don't say much about this. It has King for a Day on it. It has good riddance on it. Like, you have to have this album. And this is another one with super boring black vinyl, but it's one of those albums that I just have to own. And it's Black Parade. I love my chem. I remember when this album came out and I got it on release day. And I listened to it on my little CD Walkman. I went on holiday for a week and it's the only CD I took with me. And I listened to it all day, every day, and I loved it. I really won their two albums before this as well. But I've not seen them around for a while, but they're out at the moment. So this one will do. I love My Chemical Romance. I don't care what you think. <laughs> this is an amazing album, apart from I Don't Love You and Teenagers. I'm not a big fan of those two, but the rest, good work. I told you I'm not very good at music. I just listened to what I listened to when I was a teenager. Emo kid forever. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, so now we're moving on to my geekiest things. That's my cartoon vinyl collection. Our cartoon vinyls are my favourite pieces in the collection. So I'll start with the worst one. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. And <laughs> it's the... Oh, I'm such a nerd. It's the Bob's Burger album. It's really good though. It has like every song from the first million seasons. There's loads of songs on it. It's heavy. God, so many songs. So I'll read you some of the song names. Butts, Butts, Butts. Taffy Butt. A lot of butts. Mad Pooper. And the Diarrhea Song. Classy. It's a classy album. It's pretty stupid. It's not one you can listen to a lot, really. We did try. Oh my. <gasps> it's on Black Vinyl. Sure it wasn't. Inside you have a nice view of the street Bob's Burgers is on. And the vinyl, actually, is only black. But it comes in these nice sleeves. See, so we got your cheese, you got your tomato, you got your lettuce, so... It's alright. It's gone really dark, I'm just gonna go put a light on. It's not very professional to have your lighting change halfway through, but... I don't know where the sun's gone. I think we should sample Butts Butts Butts. I think that's enough of that. Hey, it's got a positive message. Butts are beautiful. Butts are beautiful. So yeah, it's not the kind of record you sit around listening to in another Friday night with a glass of wine. But again, if you're doing something boring like tidying, it makes the day go a bit faster. It's a bit of fun. Life should be fun. Life should be stupid. I think that's reflected quite well in our record collection. And this next one is actually beautiful and I love it. And it's the Steven Universe album. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. All the artwork is perfect. The records are all gem themed from the different gems. And 
<gasps> Beautiful. This is Amethyst. Garnet. Pearl. And Stephen's Rose Quartz. Now this is how you make a vinyl album for me. <laughs> Jazzy colours, beautiful artwork, and the Stephen Universe songs are gorgeous. And I think we'll have a little listen to one of my favourite songs by Estelle, who plays Garnet. Awesome songs. All the songs in Steven Universe are really good. It's like one of the main parts of the show for me. Like they're well done. Like this I can listen to just as a record to listen to and I will enjoy all the music. And it's so pretty. Next up, it's one of my favourite, favourite cartoons and Mondo released this record and it sold out really quick. But they did a re-release and we got right on that and that is... Over the garden wall. Look how pretty that is. So creepy. Look at that. Spot gloss. Oh, so good. So good. This is a mini series, so there's only um a few songs. But but they're really good, really dark, kind of nineteen twenties feel of some of them. They're amazing. But are you ready for this final? It's like my favourite vinyl. Look at that. How jazzy is that? Mondo are very, very good at doing some jazzy vinyls. So good. See, I had to have this in my collection. Now, unfortunately, because it's a really short series, a lot of the songs are really short. A couple of them, they did extend to make a full length song. Well, a lot of them you have to put up with just the 45 seconds or something, so... It does leave me wanting more, which I guess is a good thing. I'll just play you a couple of seconds of... a song that super reminds me of Betty Boo. <laughs> and it's just so fun to listen to. Also, just the right amount of creepy. We all know the beast, Pilgrim. He looks out there in the unknown. Yeah, you see what I mean. It's um, a lot of big band stuff, creepy stuff, 1920s feel. It's the same for a lot of the cartoon as well. So if you haven't seen Over the Garden Wall, go and watch it. Like the whole series take about the, take like an hour and a bit to watch. It's so good, and the song's so creepy. This album I will just sit and listen to as well, like the Steven Universe one. So last up in the nerdy vinyl collection today, finishing strong with another cartoon. You can probably guess which one. That's right. It's Adventure Time. So Mondo released a single and the full album of Adventure Time songs. And if it's Mondo, and if it's Adventure Time, I'm going to buy it. So they brought out a single. 
which is really cute. And there's a little Jake vinyl there. <laughs> just a little single. And I thought that was really sweet, so we got that as well. This is the main album. Really cool album artwork. And oh, what other colour choice could it be? A nice Jake and Finn colour split there. So yeah, really happy with this vinyl for the coloured vinyl collection. And this was brought out to commemorate the end of Adventure Time. So it's a lot of the later songs from the last few episodes. So, quite sad. <laughs> but no, it is beautiful, so we thought we'd pick it up. So yeah, I told you my vinyl collection was nerdy. Nerdy because I listen to teenage emo music still, and I always will. And I've got a lot of <laughs> cartoon and video game stuff mixed in there as well. So I hope I showed you some stuff you might not have seen before. And I've inspired you to look out for some colourful vinyl records. As usual, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking. What other videos do you want me to do? Leave some ideas. I might do them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.